Welcome to Thought Leader Life, where we are helping to democratize thought leadership. Join us each week where we interview a new thought leader about what it takes to become and maintain thought leadership in a number of different vertical markets. To learn more, check out www.thoughtleaderlife.com. Hi, Mitchell Levy, global credibility expert, and welcome to this special credibility episode of Thought Leader Life, where we're talking to amazing humans from around the world about their credibility and take your seats. John Spence is pretty spectacular. He's recognized as one of the top business thought leaders and leadership development experts in the world and was named by the American Management Association as one of America's top 50 leaders to watch. He is dedicated to helping people and businesses be more successful by making the very complex awesomely simple. John, welcome. Good to be here, Mitchell. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> you are welcome. Hey, what's, what's your CPOP? What's your customer point of pain? Well, you just, you sort of got my catchphrase there, but the customer point of pain is senior executives who have been jumping up and down, trying to get their people to do something for years, and they can't get them off the ball, and they bring me in, and the way I describe stuff gets the momentum going and act, gets them to actually implement what the CEO has been trying to get them to implement. Crazy. So, by the way, I see this. I've seen it many times in corporations. This, you could almost sometimes call it a pet project or the direction the company, the CEO or the board wants to go. And, and just this day to day stuff gets going and, and people are not paying attention and they're not executing. So, what does that mean? What do you do? How do you, how do you help? Well, there's several things that we, we use some audits and things like that. And one of the things I like to do is not try to give people my opinion but make sure that we have data and interviews and things like that to back it up. So I can say, hey, this isn't just me that thinks your culture is dysfunctional. Here's 400 of your employees or all 60 of your employees who clearly think it's not going well. Uh, And then everything I do is custom. It's all uh, created specifically for the client and their situation. So I look back over all the other companies I've worked with and the other things I've done, and I try to to focus in and find something that is exactly right for the needs of that client and build a custom program. The way I always say it is, if you could tell me where the goal line is, we can figure it out, out together. I can back up and figure out how to get there. So it really is your job and it's custom for every organization is to really make simple what everyone else is thinking is complex. Yes, exactly. Uh, I teach a lot of strategy and do strategy work for companies all over the world. And strategy can be really confusing and complex. And I boiled it down to just a few key ideas that people look at and go, oh, okay, I understand it now. And, and even more important, I understand how to implement and execute on it. Hmm. Uh, sorry, you just gave me chills. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. It doesn't happen with everybody, obviously. <laughs> so thank you. My pleasure. What gives you the credibility to do what you do? Well, it's funny because uh, I asked my clients, own the voice of the customer. I said, why do you hire me? And they basically said three main things. The first one is research. Uh, I've read about 100 to 120 books a year, every year since 1989, business books. Uh, Done a ton of research. I've also been the owner or CEO of five companies, three of them multinational, including running one of the Rockefeller Foundations when I was 26. I've also spent... 30 years working side by side, shoulder to shoulder with some of the top leaders in the world. And the last one, so it's research, real life. The last one is uh, passion. People can tell very quickly that this is what I've dedicated my life to. This is, you know, the whole focus of my craft. Uh, And because of those three things, they always get a high ROI. So research, real life plus passion equals ROI. And that's why my clients hire me. We got to turn the passion word into another R so it could be like a four R thing. (laughs) <laughs> really excited. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, so how do you demonstrate that credibility to the world? How do people, uh, it sounds like you get a lot of word of mouth, but how do people, when they see you, find you, how do they reach out or how do they actually see you out there so that they then make a decision, hey, I got to talk to John Spence? In multiple ways. Uh, obviously, uh, the books I've written have helped a tremendous amount. Uh, I look at one of the the main ones I wrote is about a 156 page brochure that overviews all my expertise, Uh, do social media pretty well. I've got uh, over 100,000 followers across all the media. Uh, I give a lot of speeches, uh, probably 40 or 50 a year, largest group uh, so far is 23,000. 
uh, and a lot of articles, writing a lot of articles, interviews like this. So there, I'm out there a lot, uh, try and, and awards. I've won a ton of awards. Uh, I don't try to, but I've, I've been lucky that I've won several top thought leader awards. So all those things combined um, gets me out. And like you, 99.9% .9 of my business is all word of mouth. Mm -hmm. It's happy clients telling other people or someone reading an article, calling, talking to me, figuring out what we do, how I can help them, and then going and telling other people. I, I like it. Yeah, your, your awards that I read out at the beginning, and I'm sure that's just a small number of them. And even our green room discussion was so exciting to, to listen to you talk. So listen, if you're the CEO, you're on the board, you are part of the management team, and there's some project that just seems so complex and it's not getting done because you're doing the day-to-day -day stuff. You could be making money, could be doing other things, but you recognize that life needs to change. Mm -hmm. Want to talk to John Spence and at least get some some thoughts on what he might be able to do for you. John, how do people reach out to you? Oh, it's very simple. John at johnspence.com. That's highly innovative, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've got all kinds of free resources there and articles. My blog is, uh, I put some good ideas up there. I've got a VIP newsletter that's free that is run by an algorithm that constantly customizes it specifically for the person watching what they read, and then giving more information just on that topic. So that thing's really cool. And that's at johnspence.com? Yep, john at johnspence.com or johnspence.com. Beautiful. John, thanks so much for sharing your credibility with us today. My honor, my pleasure. Thank you, Mitchell. All right, hey, and thanks for watching this show. We'll see you at the next episode. Please like and subscribe and take care, everybody. Appreciate you uh, paying attention today. Bye now. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Thought Leader Life. Please subscribe to us on YouTube and activate us by going to thoughtleaderlife.com slash activate. Till next time.